HyperUA, a product of Projexus Incorporated, provides RESTful web connectivity to OPC-based industrial applications. In this video, I'll give a brief demonstration of how HyperUA's REST API lends itself to rapid, mobile access to runtime data in OPC applications. The key mechanisms allowing for this quick, platform-independent mobile access are QR codes and URLs. QR codes are now a common sight. We've all seen them in the checkout lines of our local grocery store, in printed advertisements, they're starting to show up everywhere. Simply put, a QR code is a kind of two-dimensional barcode which is used to encode text data. The data can be anything from part numbers to corporate contact information and web addresses. For example, the QR code on the right encodes the projexus.com web address for this video. If your web-enabled phone or tablet has a camera and a built-in QR code scanner, or you've installed a scanner application, scanning the code will allow your mobile device to jump to our website without your having to type in the web address manually. So how does HyperUA fit into the picture? HyperUA encapsulates OPC UA concepts and the stateful communication between OPC UA clients and servers in a RESTful web API. An important aspect of this RESTful encapsulation is that OPC UA sessions, address spaces, nodes, monitored items, etc., are all assigned web or HTTP addresses, also known as URLs. Furthermore, owing to the stateless design of HyperUA's API and its use of HTML representations, any standard web client, so long as it's authorized, can load HyperUA's URLs and so access the OPC application data returned in the hypermedia resources. Such web clients include traditional, popular desktop browsers, but also the, their mobile variants found on devices like iPhones and Android handsets. As demonstrated in our introductory video, the bar is actually pretty low. Even a text mode web browser running in a Unix terminal is a viable client for HyperUA, and the same is true for programmatic web clients, such as those found in .NET applications, server-side JavaScript programs, and even small embedded devices like Arduino boards. We've brought these concepts together in a proof-of-concept feature for HyperUA. At present, HyperUA encodes in a QR code its URL for each node in an OPC UA address space. The encoding is performed dynamically, so it's not restricted to a fixed set of predetermined nodes. You may have noticed those QR codes already in some of our other videos. The idea is that these QR codes could be printed and affixed to industrial equipment or operations manuals. At that point, plant engineers or other personnel with the proper credentials could use a mobile device to scan the codes and jump directly to a live web view of runtime data in one or more OPC applications being used to manage or monitor the production process. Okay, let's move on to the hands-on part of this demo and see these principles in action. By the way, this video is recorded in high definition so you'll want to bump up your playback resolution using the YouTube controls if you haven't done so already. Here we have a familiar setup for our demo videos. Wonderware InTouch is running on a Windows server in Dallas, Texas. With Kep Server EX running alongside InTouch, providing an OPC UA front end. Hyper UA is running in the foreground of a terminal session on a virtual Linux server in New York. I've already used Hyper UA's API to establish a session with Kep Server running in Dallas. On the left, I have a Firefox web browser running on my Mac laptop in St. Louis. I've already navigated to the HyperUA item resource for the output valve, which corresponds to an OPC UA node in Kep Server, which in turn maps to the output valve runtime variable inside the InTouch application. In our introductory video, we used several different web browsers to toggle the output valve. In this demo, I'd like to draw your attention to the QR codes generated by HyperUA. A QR code is given near the top of each node representation. It simply encodes the URL for that item resource. Since the URL is a bit long, you can't quite see all of it in the address bar. But here's the same web address copied into a text editor. Note the URL connects several collection and item resources from left to right. Since each node in an OPC UA address space has a unique node ID, each node item resource in HyperUA has a unique URL, and thus a unique QR code. 
I have several nodes open in separate tabs in my browser. Note as I click through them that the QR code is different for each one. Having jumped back to the output valve node, I can click on the QR code image to get a full size view. Now I'll pull up a live feed from a webcam pointed at my desk. Here you can see a printed copy of the same QR code displayed in the browser. In my hand, I have an Apple iOS device, which I'll use to scan the printed code. First, I'll launch my scanner app. I need to click Scan. The scan succeeds very quickly, and the app gives me the option to jump directly to the encoded URL using Mobile Safari, which is what I want. Great! So now we've seen a quick, direct leap from a QR code to runtime OPC data access in a plain vanilla web browser. But there's nothing that's iOS specific about this approach. Here's a Droid X device from several years ago. I can use it for the same purpose. I'll open the scanner application. And after the scan succeeds, I'll have it load the URL into the mobile Firefox web browser. Nice. It's the same node representation, only using a different browser on a different platform. All right, let's come at this one more way. Here I have a Windows Surface RT tablet. I have a QR code scanner app installed on this device as well. My webcam struggles a little bit with the glossy display of the Surface. Also, Making a successful scan while keeping the tablet's screen in view is a bit tricky, so bear with me. After scanning, the app offers to load the URL in Internet Explorer 10. I'll tap OK, and now we're looking at the same node resource once again. Same REST API, same representation, but another device on a completely different mobile platform. OK, so we've accomplished our mission. Using HyperUA and the QR codes it generates, we're able to achieve quick, platform-independent RESTful web access to a back-end OPC application. We actually have a broader vision for making this approach even more useful. Projexus is working on a companion or auxiliary REST API, which together with a web-based Explore application can be used to group and annotate HyperUA resources, such as several nodes, their corresponding monitored items, and so on. The resources could even be spread across multiple HyperUA instances and OPC applications. The idea is that HyperUA and its companion APIs can become a platform for unifying runtime information and documentation into process or machine-specific web-based apps that each have a unique QR code. Scanning such a code will launch an app as a whole, providing near-instant mobile visibility into select sources of runtime data for complex industrial processes while also highlighting standard operating procedures for engineers and other personnel servicing those processes in the field or on the plant floor. The beauty of the RESTful web approach is that web technologies and web-driven applications are well suited to rapid and flexible development, allowing apps to be quickly tailored and adjusted to meet the evolving needs of industrial applications. Thank you for watching. We invite you to learn more about HyperUA and our vision for the future and how your company can become a Projexus OEM. Please visit our website and feel free to shoot us an email with any questions you may have. You can also find us on Twitter and Facebook.